Hi, my name is Roland Persson and I'm a sculptor from Stockholm. This is my studio. I do mostly silicone work um, as gallery and museum uh, exhibitions. I do silicone works mostly. Um, I often work with connection with nature and uh, human being and all in between. Um, this, this collaboration with uh, Helsinki Contemporary had made me made, made a, a series of uh, exhibitions. So this is the third solo um, on Helsinki Contemporary. So it's like a series, I, I worked with the exhibition like a series. So the first one, it was an elephant, there was uh, animals. The second exhibition 2018 uh, was um, more of nature, um, plants, um, cactus or things like that, more of plants and stuff. So this is more human being stuff. This is the third one and it's more dealing more with the connection of the machine and, and uh, the human being produced things. That also, like the machine, it's, it's growing. Less nature is growing to something that you, they don't, you don't have the total control of. So it's something that's that's connected to nature, but it's mostly it's uh, human being uh, artifacts. Well, the silicon is has a big part of of the expression of my work, I guess. Uh, I try to avoid. That's, I'm not a silicon uh, sculptor, <laughs> I'm a sculptor and a drawer, and, and, uh, but many people um, think uh, on me as, uh, as me as a, a silicon sculpture. But the material of course is important and I found it like 20 years ago and um, it has this awkward feeling of not, um, it can be exact and it can produce a surface of reality that I like very much, but it, it has also a little creamy, strange effect. So, so this, this uh, doubleness in the nature of silicon uh, that, that I also develop, like, so I work with it in, in, in a way. Well, the process starts often with an object, as I always use material that exists. I never have clay or something like that, I, n I never create an object. I have to find an object, and of course, often the object finds me in the start. So this uh, electric cabinet, uh, for example, we find in, uh, in Berlin for a few years ago, and uh, been tumbling around in my head for two, three years and what to do with it and what's it, what it said to me. So the, the process is not lots about m making molds and uh, silicone in the molds and, uh, and uh, blend uh, pigment and stuff like that. But the object starts always with some kind of objects. And it could be plant, it could be dust, it could be a car, it could be whatever, but, but it starts with something that exists. Well, I can have them both uh, kind of in the same time working with them, um, but they are, they are in, in total different areas of, of one, how I do them. When I do the sculptures, I run around. Uh, blending silicone and work very physical when I do the and it goes over fast and, and you know in the process uh, when I do the drawings I mere contemplation it's more very slow technique I use so it's more of a mental um, yeah soothing um, well it's more slow, and, and the thoughts when I do them can come and go in a total other way. But 
but the, the thoughts coming has often to do with, with the subject I work with, so they are, they are connected, but in a totally different way. I, I guess this exhibition is a part of the corona situation and the fragile situation that we are in, in, in when, when it comes to, to the society and how it has been affected of the corona. And so the subject of, of, of that is very connected. So the logic doing this exhibition was more clear as the corona went on. So yeah, in a way, very much. The connection you will make in your brain with, with all the objects uh, is not supposed to tell you a clear story or, or that it's not, it's, no, it's more about how making difficulties for, for the viewer to translate or to understand what they, what they put together and that make um, the viewer um, try to find in their head, they, they are experimental in their head, um, try to find things and that's the important things to be uh, creative in the thinking. So, go for it. Uh, that's my tip. <laughs>